Hey what's up guys, it's your boy, Bootleg Starbucks here, back with a brand new video. If you've read the title, you obviously know what we're making, and if you haven't, well, uh, get off full screen go read the title. But anyway, this recipe is very very customizable, you can make it more icy, you can make it sweeter, you can make it not as sweet, honestly you can do whatever you want with this, it's very modular. But basically, the way it works is you have to make your coffee. You can do this a couple of ways. I like grinding my own beans and I like using this coffee machine that I that I have in the back corner over here um, just to make my own coffee. That's, that's the way I like doing it. I like cold brewing it, but you can really make it however you want. But anyway, this recipe is very, very customizable. You can make it more icy, you can make it sweeter, you can make it not as sweet. Honestly, you can do whatever you want with this. It's very modular. But basically, the way it works is you have to make your coffee. You can do this a couple of ways. I like grinding my own beans and I like using this coffee machine that I that I have in the back corner over here um, just to make my own coffee. That's, that's the way I like doing it. I like cold brewing it, but you can really make it however you want. For some reason, what a lot of places like doing is they like using ice to blend their coffee. I'm assuming because it's cheaper. <coughs> Starbucks. The problem with that is once the ice melts, it'll be really watered down, right? Your coffee won't taste good anymore. So what I like doing is I like using ice cream instead of ice. It just adds a little bit more flavor and when it melts, it doesn't matter. It'll still taste the same, right? But you have to be careful. If you add too much ice cream, it'll be kind of a weird texture. Like all of the flavor, all of the ice will kind of go up to the top and all the flavor will kind of stay at the bottom. I don't like filling up more than half of the cup I'm using with ice, with, uh, ice cream, so just be careful. And in this particular case, I just filled up a little bit less than a third of the cup with ice cream. After you figure out how much ice cream you want, then you get to fill up the rest with coffee. I was feeling a little bit fruity, so I decided to put a little bit less coffee than usual, just to make it more sweet. I basically just filled up most of the cup with coffee and then filled up the rest with creamer. The creamer just made it more sweet and a little bit thinner. That's the way I wanted it. Usually, I fill up almost all of the cup with coffee and then just a couple drops of creamer, but to each their own. After you figure out how the hell you want to make this thing, you start blending her up. This is the fastest part of this. You know when you go to Starbucks and you ask for extra chocolate or extra caramel? They put all of it on the side of the cup so you actually don't drink any of it? That's exactly what we're going to do here. Because it looks nice, okay? But this time, you don't really have to pay any extra for it. After you do that, you just fill up the cup with coffee. Now you're going to see this is pretty thin. That's the way I wanted it. Like I said, you can make it thicker or thinner. If you want to make it thick, just add more ice cream. If you want to make it thinner, just add the same amount of ice cream I did. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest. This is pretty freaking good. The way I made it was really sweet, but I have a really hard time getting by in Starbucks. I get it they're good, but you can go to Starbucks, get this exact same size drink for $4. All right. At home, you know, buying all the, buying everything and then dividing it by how much servings I can make, it's like 70 cents, maybe a dollar, a dollar max. That's like, that's actually really expensive for this cup of coffee, right? It's so much cheaper. You're saving a lot more money and it tastes better because you're making it at home. You can customize everything about it. You can customize the way you make your coffee, how dark, how light, the creamer, um, the coffee and all that, or the, the fillings and all that. I know you can do that at Starbucks, but it, it's, it, it costs extra, okay? Now here's what I want you to do. If you go to Starbucks every day or like every week or something like that, instead of going to Starbucks, I want you to do this for a month, okay? Make coffee at home just the exact way you would make it at Starbucks and then come back to this video in a month and tell me how much you guys saved, all right? I'm willing to bet you guys will save a lot and you'll be more skilled, all right? You're learning a craft, okay? <laughs> this is important for your life. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Also, subscribe and share it, all right? Get this out to as many of your friends as you can, especially if they're addicted to coffee. Um, I'm sure everybody is, though. Um, in addition to that, if you guys didn't like this video, make sure you dislike and leave in the comments below why you didn't like it, all right? Anyway, guys, that's it for me. See you next time. Bitch, start tripping now, I'm blue. Mega man, I can't wait for losing because I got too many haters, man. Used to be the paper boy, grew up now, I'm mega man. Player one, player two, show your ass what players do.